My name is Dylan White, and this is what's in my bag. Dylan White, this is what's in my bag. So I like to putt with the PA3s. Um, they seem to go in the chains sometimes, uh, but these are the soft PA3s, the 300 plastic. Uh, they just feel really good in my hand. I like the bead, you know, where the finger sits. It gives me consistency every time. Um, to throw, I've got four different putters depending on what I want to do. Um, <clears throat> I call this one my beefcake. It's an AVR3. It goes really far, but it has a hard finish at the end. So if you really want to shape that shot, love it. AVR3s. Uh, we've got a Star Colt. This thing's real straight. So if I just want to air one out there, the wind's doing what I like. It just kind of holds it, carries, and uh, usually ends ends up landing pretty pretty nice. So easy to kind of just it does whatever I want uh, soft PA4 same plastic and a um, little understable so you know just want to loft one out there and watch it I just love watching a disc make that shape you know it's what got me into disc golf um, judge super straight so I mean I can let this thing go and it just it just goes you know what I mean <clears throat> well, those are uh, my my throwing putters. Let's see what we got. Um, also in the bag, sunflower seeds. <laughs> I mean, just if you don't like sunflower seeds, then, well, I guess you don't like sunflower seeds. More for me. Always got to have a towel on uh, nice, wet, rainy days like today. Um, let's see. Mid ranges. I have a few here. This one has been my workhorse lately. Uh, five time champ zone. Uh, real stable, completely different than another zone. I'll show you in a second. But um, just has a really good flight and a lot of ground play. So if you want to get that extra little 10, 15 feet, it does it. Buzz OS. I mean, enough said, basically. No, but I, I love this disc. And then just a buzz. Um, one of my most used discs in the bag. Um, can really shape whatever whatever you want with it. Um, very uh, very well utilized. And then my soft zone. This is the one that if I'm kind of sketched out, there's going to be a roll away. Uh, I'll throw this. It usually just lands and sticks. Uh, I call this my Velcro disc. Um, great for approaches. I won this in a CTP at doubles a few weeks ago, but it has quickly become one of my favorite discs in the bag. It's a deputy. Um, it started out super straight. But it's gotten to the point where I can throw it with hyzer, and it just flips up and just holds this beautiful glide. Like, I mean, just it's understable. I'm not going to lie to you. But it, it's awesome. Great for approaches as well, especially, especially if you have to shape. And then my favorite right now, the Mako 3. This thing, man, it just holds. It goes. It flies. It's plastic, so. Um, fairways. Don't have very many fairways, uh, but I just picked one up. FX2. Uh, 500 plastic, Prodigy. It's a great stable fairway. Um, it's, it's really nice. I mean, especially if you need something to crash down, splash. That'll do it. Uh, my Onyx. This thing 
it's starting to flip up on me a little bit, but I really like the flight of it. It glides forever, and it just feels really good in the hand. Uh, pink, you can find it easy. Throw pink. Um, Undertaker. I mean, come on. <clears throat> if you haven't thrown an Undertaker, throw an Undertaker. Now, this thing, it's great in the woods. It's great to shape, and I love it. It is absolutely one of my favorite discs. And Peach, come on. All right, now we're getting into getting into the disc that <clears throat> I have no business throwing. <laughs> um, I have three different nukes, and they all do different things. I had four. I lost one. Uh, rip nuke. It's out there somewhere. I'll get it back. This one, super straight. I just, flies. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. This one flips up a little bit more and holds. I mean, I got this thing downhill with a tailwind. I threw it 503 feet, according to you, disc, but uh, like I said, downhill. And um, I think that's the farthest I've thrown a disc, so I want to hold on to this one. <clears throat> then we have a beefcake right here. Uh, super stable. Uh, I think this one's max weight as well. But, I mean, it is flat, flat. I mean, this thing, if you want something to turn, it will turn. For my forehands, I really like throwing. This is a Proto Kong. Um, <clears throat> When I, when, I guess whenever I throw a flick, like, I like to kind of give it a little bit of Anheuser and just watch it, you know, shape. But this thing, it really holds it, but it cuts back, and it'll, it'll get to where you want it to go. I have a Sidewinder. I don't throw this one much, but it's really good in the woods, and, um, yeah. It's another one of those shaping discs. You'll see a trend here. I like to shape things. But, uh, you know, it's good. It feels great in the hand. I like the Star Plastic. Um, I, have, I have one. It's not in my bag anymore. It's Champion Plastic uh, that I use for a roller. And um, basically that thing, you could let it go flat and it would just zoink. But this one, it just holds nice, gradual. I love it. Great for the woods, like I said. Uh, D3, this thing is my smasher. This thing goes for a country mile. I love it. I love the way it feels. The plastic, the 400 plastic, it just grips nicely. And it just flies. I mean, it's just amazing. It flies so far. Love it. I have a D4 in my bag. Don't make fun of me. Uh, this is the one I'm using for rollers now. Um, and it, it does great. It, uh, it comes in handy. It's, it's like one of those where it's like, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So it's in there. But uh, she's old. Good disc. <clears throat> Especially for beginners. It's a good one. Uh, Ballista Pro. Now we're getting into the ones that I have no business throwing. <clears throat> Sometimes I can get behind this disc and it'll, it'll go, but most of the time um, I feel like I'm not throwing it to its potential, but it's still good to have in the bag. Um, feels great. This one's the Opto. has like the metal flake in it. Love it. Seth Overbay uh, suggested it for me and Seth, I appreciate it. <coughs> Star Destroyer. Because why not? I think everyone should have a destroyer. Um, just because it does destroyer things. And uh, star plastic. I really like the star plastic. And, um, and these. Yeah, it just feels great. I have a star strike. I don't throw this one too much. It's a little too flippy. But I keep it in the wood. Uh, I keep it in the woods. I mean, I throw it in the woods. But I keep it in the bag for woods play, uh, panther, 
don't really throw it at Kiwanis, but Panther for sure. And a Nuke SS. I just put this one back in the bag. Um, when I got it, I didn't really feel like I knew how to throw it, but now it's, it's definitely earned its spot in the bag. Um, yeah, it'll flip up, hyzer flip. You want to throw a little ante, get something going that way. It's a good one. That, my friends, is what's in my bag. All right, Dylan's about to throw the flippiest disc you've ever thrown. Do you think you could contest that with something, or? It's called an orbital. Do you think I could what? Do you think you could t contest that it's the most understable thing you've ever thrown? Oh, we'll see. Because <laughs> I don't think so. But you better hyzer it. Like, are we talking like Like, I'm talking almost upside down. Oh. Is she understable? She was rolling with a T-pad of 18. <laughs> Fix two. Fix two. I'm not going to try and put any extra pressure on you here, but last time I filmed somebody on this hole, it was Eli, and he aced it, so. Yeah, no. <laughs> no pressure. That's not an ace. That's not on the hole. <laughs> Listen, if you're terrible for missing a putt like that, then I am hot garbage. <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, F, potato. That was Dylan's Ballista Pro.